took a little bacon and it took a little beans and they caught the bloody British in a town in New Orleans. What's up ladies and gents? Welcome back to another review at the Beautiful Beer Review channel. Thanks for checking it out. If you're not a subscriber, hit subscribe. And my buddies are making fun of me for saying that. But here's the thing, if I don't ask, people don't hit the button. So Brett and Scott, whatever. Anyway, big shout out to my buddy Steven, who swung by my house today, dropped this off. This is Parish Brewings Nova Vert. I believe it is a new school IPA. Um, neither This IPA is neither East nor West Coast. This is new school. That's their slogan right here on the side. 6.8% ABV. And the IBUs are listed as 60, but then on Untap, they're listed as NA. So I'm not really sure what the IBUs are, but I will say cool artwork right here. I've had Ghost in the Machine. I've had um, on V. And I feel like something else. I don't know. I can't remember. I reviewed on V on this channel, I think. Maybe somewhere way back. Uh, anyway, the, the killer thing on this one is this is bottled on 11-15-17. Today is 11-22-17. Seven days old at the review. So I'm stoked to get this in the glass. Heard a lot of good things. And here we go. I did see a picture of Steven's bottle of this. And it was super hazy. So pretty pumped. Into the untapped glass we go. I just hand clean this thing. So hopefully we're good. Yeah. We're gonna put that all in there. There we have it. This is bright orange, yellow, lemon juice looking kind of stuff. Some hazy pineapple stuff going on. I've got, uh, I don't know, I've told you before in other videos I'm working on the lighting. I have two huge lights right here now that help clear things up tremendously, I think anyway. Um, and I cannot see light through the middle of this glass. A little bit on the bottom, but that is it. Um, sits real pretty in the glass. Got about a finger of white head. Sticking pretty good to the side of the glass, actually. Gonna have some good lacing on this thing, I think. Um, not a whole lot to say about appearance, really. It's your typical hazy, um, haze for days. Hazy is all get out, as Scott likes to point out that I've said before. Um, so let's get a nose on this thing. Oh yeah, hops. Some melon, some peach, some orange zest. Oh, some pineapple too. Very, re really nice nose on this. A little bit of the yeast coming through as well. But so good. And the, the, the dominant smells for me are pineapple, peach, and melon. Which smells really good. All right, let's get a taste. Check that mouthfeel in. That's what it is for these haze bombs for me. It's that creamy mouthfeel that they give off. Hope it's there. Mm, mm, mm. Dead on. Mouthfeel medium. Not quite to that smoothie mouthfeel, but it's it's so good. Um, got some carbonation that kind of uh, hits the front of your tongue pretty quick, kind of bright. And then melon, peach, a little bit of grapefruit, um, Grapefruit oil, bitterness on the back end. Ever so slightly, though. This is not a big, bitter beer. 60 IBUs. Maybe. You know, for me, I'm pretty sensitive to... Uh, well, no, no, no. I'm not sensitive. I'm pretty dumbed down to bitterness, I think. I like I like big, bitter IPAs. And um, one of my buddies and I will drink, and he's like... I'm like, this is not bitter at all. And he's like, oh, it's, it does have the bitterness there. So, I, I don't know. I don't pick up on it all the time unless it's pretty prominent. But there is some bitterness here, for sure. That stone fruit is definitely there. The peaches. Um, 
It's good, y'all. Really good. Uh, oh, is it better than Ghost in the Machine? You know, I don't know if Ronald Thoreau. Anybody ever looked at Ronald? Have you ever, anybody ever told you that when you see your name, I always think Ronald the Riot? I feel like your personality fits that perfect. Ronald the Riot. But I know it's Thoreau. I don't know if he's reviewed Nova Vert. I feel like he has. He's from um, Southeastern Louisiana. Killer channel. I love his stuff. Um, but I cannot remember what he said about this one, if he if he reviewed this one. I know he thinks On V is overpriced, I think, and kind of eh. I think he said that. And But anyway, so the deal with Ghost of the Machine, I had Ghost of the Machine, and it... I have actually have one at a friend's house right now, but it's over a month old, so I don't know. I would, probably wouldn't review it. But this one's good, in my opinion. Um, the yeast characteristic is there, too. A little bit of that bubblegum stuff going on. Not a whole lot. Pineapple, peach, melon. A little bit of dankness. A little bit of bitterness. Solid IPA from them. I'm gonna have to revisit Ghost in the Machine though because like that's their I have a picture of that beer and it is unfiltered and there are chunks of stuff floating everywhere. But it's been so long. I feel like it's been over a year and a half since I've had it. I don't know. This one's good though, Nova Vert. Uh you get a chance, pick it up. If you've had this beer, comment below. Ronald, I want to hear from you. I want to hear what you think, because I cannot remember. I'm gonna have to go find your review too. Of course, this is a different bottle, and I do understand that there's some consistency issues with Parrish. Um, they've changed their yeast profiles a couple times, I believe. Uh, but thank you guys for checking it out. Hit the like button. Until next time, y'all. Cheers.